Brothers and sisters in Christ, the just-released NIV Grace and Truth Study Bible is now in my possession, and I wanted to bring you a review of it today. It's in the NIV translation. It is edited by one of the most renowned scholars and academics and names in evangelicalism, Dr. Albert Moeller Jr. This is the cover. This is the spine. It's a very glossy, high-gloss dust jacket and dust cover that it comes with. Now, if you want, make sure that if you're on your app, you click in the top right-hand corner, those three dots, or if you're on the desktop, that cog in the bottom right for the high-quality settings. So a lot of these features you've probably seen if you're looking up the Bible itself. 16 pages, full-color maps, 9-point font. 8-point font for the Bible commentary, which we will look at it. Retail price of 49 but I've seen it online as low as 30 This is the hardcover edition. Now, one of the first things I want to point out, and I'm going to take the dust jacket off for the rest of the video. One thing that I want to start off with is the list of contributors. This is a study Bible, so it contains commentary on every book of the Bible. Now, Dr. Moeller is the general editor of the commentary, but that does not mean that he is the commentator uh, or the contributor of every single book. So, for the New Testament, the general editor is Dr. Ben Merkel, who's at Southeastern. I actually just completed a class under him in Advanced Hermeneutics this past summer, 2021. Excellent scholar, tremendous professor, Thankful to have learned from him. Old Testament is Jim Hamilton from Southern Seminary. Now, they oversaw the Old and New Testament after these contributors submitted their commentary on each one. So, let me give you an example. And you can see right here at the top of this page, the Ezra and Nehemiah. Ezra and Nehemiah. That was completely contributor of Derek Thomas, who's from Reformed Theological Seminary. Well, he also did the actual Reformed expository commentary on Ezra and Nehemiah from the Presbyterian and Reformed Publishing arm. Now, of course, Ben Merkel, he did Ephesians, and this is in the NIV Grace and Truth Study Bible. Dr. Merkel did Ephesians. Well, Dr. Merkel also wrote the Greek God of exegetical commentary for Ephesians, uh, some some of the most amazing scholarship on the book of Ephesians, Dr. Merkel, came through. Some of that commentary of others, uh, like Dr. Kostenberger for Titus, uh, you, you will have probably noticed some of the single volume commentaries in publication circles having some of these scholars names on them so each commentary in the book of let's say Ezra and Nehemiah that is Dr. Thomas so if you were to cite some of the commentary from Ezra and Nehemiah you would be actually quoting Derek Thomas just as an example now I, I love the, the, the paper here even though it's 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 thin, I don't feel like it's it's such a high quality paper that I wouldn't want to uh, you know actually use the Bible. That's the problem with some of the really really high quality paper that I've seen in in other uses. And I want to also point out something I've seen a few people say in in their review of the Bible that the NIV, Grace and Truth Study Bible, is specifically Southern Baptist, or that it is uh, a specifically uh, Baptistic viewpoint. Now, I want to point out something to you here. This is from Dr. Moeller about the uh, Grace and Truth Study Bible. See here, it says in the middle, this project is graciously evangelical, reformed, and complementarian. Of course, you probably know Dr. Moeller had a long-standing association with Ligonier Ministries and Dr. R.C. Sproul. 
John MacArthur and uh, many other reformed people. And this, uh, of course, in Do Good, for example, First Kings, uh, full, fully reformed. And a lot of these uh, contributors are either fully reformed or, or Calvinistic. And, and um, there's, there's certainly, in Southern Baptist circles, believe me, I, I, the more I get involved, the more I can tell you that this is not uh, specifically Southern Baptist. While Southern or Southeastern contributors are the majority viewpoint here, they are still very conservative in their theology. So that's where some of this would be coming from. One of the first things I want to point out, of course, it has this, the standard NIV study Bible, uh, the, the way that it's a paragraph, a very readable format, cross-references in the center column, commentary down at the bottom. Now, there are very few of these. Uh, I flipped through the Bible. In fact, I think I found only one other one, uh, of the actual photos, things like that. And there's very few of these. I'd say less than three. Uh, very rare to have any photos in this in this Bible. Um, so, the, of course, you can actually tell if you look at the light. These subheadings, like the breast piece, the lampstand. Okay, they're like in a kind of a holographic gold, and it shines. Now, in the New Testament, the headings are still gold, and the reason I point that out is the headings are still gold. But the words of Christ are in red. And there is a bit of a contrast there. The words of Christ are red, but they're not that holographic. They don't have that sheen on them. Now, you can see there's a lot of commentary in certain, in certain sections. Lots of commentary. Less in others. The commentary is not uh, overly spe specific. It's certainly not like Dr. Merkel's you know, exegetical guide to the Greek New Testament. So you're not going to find a lot of Greek or Hebrew in the Old and New Testaments. This is a, a broad commentary on the Bible. And of course, like with the NIV study Bible, the the Old Testaments and the and the and the prophets, there's the poetry and the way that it's written, you know, heavily indented stanzas. So back into the New Testament, words of Christ are in red, and then commentary, cross references, center column. Now, one thing I want to point out with, with this Bible is when we get to the concordance, I have, of course, since 2017, been pointing out concordances and their value, their depth. This is by far the most concordance. This is 300 pages. Starts at page 1809, ends at uh, 2119. So 300 pages for sure, and it includes every single word in the Bible and where it's located. Instead of a, a now, it doesn't have a page reference; it has a scripture reference. Uh, other concordances have page references. Now, I do want to say that this concordance I had, I actually spent probably an hour going through this concordance. It's an amazing resource, an amazing resource, and not unlike any other that I have seen. You'll just have to get it for yourself to see its complete depth and value. Now, for color maps, you know, I've always pointed out the color maps. I've always pointed out the index. This is the most expansive index to the maps that I've ever seen. Four pages includes locations on the map that are, of course, no longer on modern maps. So you go to Google Maps. Location's not there anymore. And then, of course, it has modern locations as well. So there's 16 full-color maps. One thing that I've seen several other reviewers miss on this Bible, because there's other reviews on the Bible already, but there's a, something that they missed that I found really cool, very useful, in fact, about this Bible, is they have these... I want to show you. They have these, like, iPhone text bubble... Points of interest on the map. So the clearing of the table, the, the crucifixion and burial. So, of course, it's Golgotha, you know, the, where Christ is crucified. Uh, but the, sp the specification of crucifixion and burial like that. Now, okay, so so you've, you've read your New Testament. You, you understand that that's what Golgotha is. But 
How about uh, where Jesus was tempted in the wilderness? Where would, would you know where that is on a map? Just by reading the New Testament? Uh, well, we, here in this color map, we have some of those bubbles that I was telling you about. This is very clear. And this is, of course, in the, in the broader zoomed out of Galilee all the way to Judea. That's a really... I haven't seen that before, personally. If if it was in other study Bibles before this, I didn't know about it. But I'm I'm hoping that more publishers will include this in future Bibles. I'd take for the Old Testament map here, Jeremiah born, and then it actually has the location in the map here, and it's of course this is map seven prophets in Israel and Judah. So. A really, really interesting use of the map there. Now, this is just a very glossy hardcover edition. They have all the way up to hand-bound goatskin versions of this NIV Grace and Truth Study Bible. I highly recommend it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I love the, you know, the, the gold sheen on the sides here of, of different uh, book introductions. I will say... That as much as I love it, I wish that it had a slightly more detailed book introduction. So you say this is a book introduction to Jeremiah. It's a very reader's um, easy, less intrusive, and obviously not not specific or sectioned off book introduction. Let me show you the Reformation Study Bible book introduction. So you have the author, it's sectioned off. Date and occasion, sectioned off. Interpretive difficulties, and then it has the different options there, characteristics and themes, and then ultimately an outline of Revelation. Uh, for such a, a study Bible with so many commentators that are academics, I would have loved to have seen something like this for the book introductions. Uh, so, which I, leads me to say that this is certainly targeted to the broadest possible audience. Of course, NIV as the main translation usage, but still worthy of your time, worthy of consideration, especially for uh, young Christians and someone new to the faith or, or someone who's uh, under-churched. This would make an excellent gift, especially the hardcover. It doesn't have any fancy art gilding on the edges, just one Bible. It is uh, Smith's own binding, one ribbon, that Smith's own binding in the hardcover will last you for quite a while. And the NIV Grace and Truth Study Bible is worthy of both the Lord and your time. And I recommend it to you highly.